Oh, 44.22 on the TV when I, when I stopped it. 11. Check this out. Just sitting here, I'm watching this documentary uh, net on uh, Netflix called uh, Working, Working, What We Do All Day, right? And um, Obama is the narrator. Um... And going around to all these people's jobs and their lives and service jobs, right? And I guess there's other episodes and other things or whatever. Anyway. Then the Holy Spirit says to me, right? Because I'm looking at Obama and I'm observing him. And I am using my discernment to gauge him, right? Right? And the Holy Spirit says, this is how the Antichrist is, will be, will present himself to be. He'll be covert, right? Meaning on the outside, he'll be like loving, right? Kind, um nurturing even um just free spirited just you know what i'm saying like obama is okay okay relatable okay like obama is okay because i was asking myself i was like <clears throat> while i'm watching and i'm like how do you, how can you Where does that sinister hide at? Where does it hide? And as soon as I ask that question, then I'm reminded of what these past seasons have been, right? Then I'm like, duh. So, that's what the Holy Spirit said to me, right? This is how the Antichrist is, is and will be presented. Right? People don't know who he is yet. Well, they don't believe who we say he is, but regardless, he's here. He's here, and they're going to make him relatable, okay, on all levels. Charming, kind, generous, fun-loving, everything that you can imagine, right? But on the inside ravenous wolf a ravenous raging wolf bloodthirsty wolf yeah that's crazy <clears throat> but yeah it makes all the sense in the world right look at what you just dealt with Right? That's the definition of a wolf in sheep's clothing. Somebody wearing wearing the coat of of humility, but underneath is a coat of uh arrogance and, and pride and danger. You get what I'm saying. <laughs> Alright, I'll holla because I know that's annoying. Peace. <laughs>